Okay, hello. Uh, I'm a business partner for Crape Crazy, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about this business. So first, I'll start off by asking, what is a deaf ecosystem? So the deaf community is often oppressed by the majority hearing world. Due to lack of understanding of what it means to be deaf, or if it's just prejudice, the deaf community is deprived from opportunities, education, and economic independence. As a result, 80% of deaf and hard of hearing individuals are unemployed or underemployed, meaning that they work a job that is under their qualifications. Um, so why, so this is why it's important to promote the deaf ecosystem. My definition of deaf ecosystem is the investment in the deaf community by giving economic support to, um, to deaf owned businesses, schools, and organizations. There are many benefits of promoting the deaf ecosystem. It helps ensure financial sufficiency for the deaf community. It secures purchasing power in economic mobility. It also encourages um, entrepreneurship and collaboration to grow deaf owned businesses by employing those who are deaf and hard of hearing. Investing in the deaf ecosystem results in career opportunities and more economic power. This overall increases resources for the deaf community so that there are healthier and empowered deaf and hard of hearing individuals. So Crepe Crazy is owned and operated by the Glitterman family who are all deaf. Vladimir and Ina Glitterman are the founders of this business. They are immigrants from Russia and Ukraine. They moved to the US to start their business and chose Austin, Texas for the large deaf school for their deaf children. Their children are Sergi and Michelle who are CEO and COO of Crepe Crazy. Vladimir and Ina started a food truck in 2006 and catered at many festivals and events. In 2014, they opened their first physical location in downtown Austin. And then the next year, they opened their second location in Dripping Springs. Uh, here recently in October, 2020, they opened a third location in Baltimore, Maryland. And over here on the left is a picture of the family. So here are some pictures of their different venues. The picture at the top left is their booth at a festival. Uh, the bottom left is their food truck and the picture on the right is one of their physical locations. Services. So I was very impressed by the amount and diversity of services at Crepe Crazy. As I previously mentioned, they have three physical locations, a food truck, they travel to festivals and they also cater. Uh, they recently started a grocery market that offers fresh uh, produce and products from Crepe Crazy. They also have takeout and do delivery through the major delivering services. This picture in the right corner is um, what the inside of one of their locations look like. Uh, Crepe Crazy has quite a large menu that offers um, savory, sweet, and breakfast crepes. Some of their crepes are the Mediterranean medley, the chicken basil pesto, um, the turkey avocado, Nutella royale, um, caramelized apple vanilla cream, and the fiesta. They also have soup, salads, and bagels. This picture on the left is a sign that they have in their physical locations. Customers can come up to the counter and point at what they want or communicate in ASL or by writing on a piece of paper. I thought this was an, a neat idea. Um, I like that Crepe, Crepe Crazy caters to the deaf community, but also um, provides a clear means of communication for hearing individuals. So why would you choose Crepe Crazy? Um, I couldn't, I couldn't choose only three, so I listed all of these. Uh, so um, not only is it a deaf owned business, which, which empowers the deaf ecosystem, but it also, it's also family owned and immigrant owned. Um, as Vladimir and Anna are from Russia and Ukraine, uh, Craig Crazy has a majority deaf staff with all employees being fluent in ASL. 
Uh, the business has a mission of promoting the deaf ecosystem by using other deaf businesses um, and professionals for services like contractors and electricians. Uh, the business is extremely deaf friendly, of course, and um, provides environment and provides an environment that is signing friendly. So I think our allyship would be benefit would benefit this business. Exposing the hearing community to um, deaf owned businesses will show them that deaf people can do anything hearing people can do, except they just can't hear. Uh, deaf people can have careers, own businesses, or do anything they want. Also, our allyship will spread the word about the restaurant and provide them with more business so that they can continue empowering the deaf ecosystem. Learning about this company affirmed um, what I have learned so far about deaf culture. Um, the deaf community is so vibrant and diverse. I, I admire this family's journey because their life has not been easy. I can't imagine the hurdles this family has faced um, being immigrants and also being deaf. Um, this project has shown me how privileged I am uh, being from the US and being hearing. Uh, I think that learning about this business has really changed my perspective. Learning about their story and their business increased my desire to buy from and use services from other minorities. Uh, you are really making such a bigger difference um, by, by buying from these small businesses than you would if you would buy from a main chain store. From now on, I can assure you um, that I, that I will actively try to buy from deaf businesses. Craig Crazy has already been pretty successful and I would love for their business to reach its full potential. This business really empowers the deaf ecosystem and I hope that it continues to grow and provide economic independence to more and more deaf and hard of hearing individuals. And here are my sources and that's the end. Thank you.